Hi, and welcome back to the Community Lounge, where the MVP Award Program is managing to find numerous MVPs, and this time I managed to get one from Switzerland, and he's been finding me via Twitter, so welcome, Thanks. and tell everybody out there who you are and what MVP expert teacher. Sure. In. So my name is Laurent Bunion, I'm a Silverlight MVP. Uh, I've been actually through multiple expertise over the years. I started with ASP.NET and then client applications, so WPF. And uh, since actually this year, I changed to the new Silverlight MVP expertise. Cool. Yeah. Well, welcome to TechEd. Thank and you. And what are you doing at TechEd? So I uh, came actually as a last minute decision. Uh, somebody asked me if I could help at the uh, Silverlight booth. And actually, I have to admit, I had not planned to come because we have a lot of work right now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I managed to find a couple of days to uh, come and help. So, here I am. So, you're in the TLC, the Technical yep. Learning Center? That's correct, and yeah. And you're on the booth for the majority of the Answering questions, showing demos and stuff like that, yeah. Great. So, mm -hmm. getting people really excited about Silverlight and how you can use Silverlight. Yeah, we're trying, yeah. Great. And so, um, what got you into IT? Well, um, you know, life has strange ways sometimes, so uh, I ha actually have a classical education, so I didn't touch a computer before I was 16, 17 like this, and it was a Mac, sorry. Uh, but anyway, you know, in school, <laughs> and um, you know, at that time my dream was to become a professional pilot, so uh, that's what actually brought me into engineer school, and um, you know, the whole professional pilot thing didn't quite work out for uh, multiple reasons, so uh, I started working as an engineer and thankfully I found out I love that job. Uh, I started coding actually very low level software, um, so really uh, you know firmware code for embedded controllers and that was 15 years ago more or less. And uh, I found out that I just love IT, so coming from a uh, you know classical education, um, I you know used to write you know art, uh, poetry, things like that, so I had this outlet for my creative expression and uh, strangely I found out that writing software is uh, very similar in a way, it's very creative and uh, you know that's what I need to express my creativity, so I love that. Uh, I write a lot of code, this is my life, um, so yeah, it's um, you know private projects a lot and uh, professional projects as well, so that's a 24-hour job. <laughs> Great. So I think you've probably said it, but you know, I just wanted it in a sort of like a, a succinct way of like. So, what do you really love about IT? Uh, <clears throat> well, there are multiple things. I think one thing which I love, as I said, the creativity is fantastic. So you really build stuff, and it has very much, in my opinion, to do with art. So I love that. I think if you if you write beautiful software, it will work better. And you know who didn't? I mean, who with a passion didn't spend hours refactoring code, even if it's not really needed, but just because after that it will be more beautiful. So that's one thing I love. Uh, the other thing I love is the community. Uh, there is a great feeling uh, about you know sharing code, sharing knowledge. Uh, I've started talking in conferences you know a few years ago, and you know noticing I love that. I love the contact with the people. I love. Uh, uh, you know, showing what I learned and learning even more in the process. So this is something which is fantastic. So, you know, the MVP program has been great for that, meeting new people and everything. Uh, the community in general around .NET, before mm -hmm. that I was active in other communities as well, are really great. It's a good way to make people around the world. So yeah, that's very good. So you mentioned a couple of things that you've been doing in the community, like yep. you've been um, uh, engaging and networking and sharing best practices and mm -hmm. hints and tips and um, creating content um, so people can can use that and, and in fact you know develop more and, and better code and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a website or anything that you want to let people know about? Sure. So I have a I have a couple of sites. I have uh, my blog, which is really what most people in the Silverlight community and WPF community know me, know me for. It's uh, blog.galasoft.ch CH being Switzerland yep. and not China, like many people think, but really. Uh, and, and the website is the same address except with www, so you know, www.galasoft.ch. And here I have most of my content. Uh, I've been, you know, I'm active in other places as well, uh, especially on the uh, WPF Disciples list, which is a uh, Google group. 
where uh, you know we talk a lot about multiple content so that's one place where I'm very active as well and um, yeah that's about it I um, I did write a book a couple of years back about Silverlight 2 so it's called Silverlight 2 Unleashed and uh, you know more is coming so stay tuned <laughs> great great yeah. well thank you so much for coming in and Pleasure. dropping by as always great to see you um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you and the rest of the MVPs in the TLC the Technical Learning Center absolutely where delegates can go and get um, their questions answered yep so that's right. thank you very much thank you very Cheers. much